The Human Technopole project began when Matteo Renzi was the Prime Minister. He decided to set up a new research institute in Italy. He then chose people who would develop a project led by Roberto Cingolani. And Cingolani put together a large group of people who contributed to the development of a draft project, which was the basis for setting up Human Technical. Its overarching mission is to improve human health and well-being. So we will do this by uh, performing basic research and translational research in areas of the life sciences that are relevant for human biology and therefore also for human health. Uh, the um, far-reaching goal of Human Technopole's work is that of developing uh, new approaches and novel uh, personalized medicine approaches and, and therapies. Human Technopole uh, lies at the heart of MIND, the so-called Milano Innovation District. This is a vast area just outside of the city center of Milano, which hosted the uh, Universal Exposition in 2015. The so-called Mind Innovation District will host public functions, including Human Technopole, also the scientific faculties of the University of Milano and the Galeazzi Research Hospital, and uh, private functions, which are companies active in the areas of um, life science uh, research and innovation. The, the geographical vicinity between all of these organizations is what fosters really uh, and what makes innovation happen because it enables the entire all of the steps of the pipeline from basic research all the way to the commercial application and the medical application of discoveries to happen uh, very close to one another. When we started the design of uh, human technical laboratories, only few research lines were known. Um, therefore, we had uh, to find a solution for laboratory furniture that uh, would allow us uh, to gradually integrate new research group over uh, the next two years. Modularity and uh, flexibility were the must uh, to cope with the dynamism that would characterize the startup phase of uh, human technopole. Sixty percent of our researchers are uh, Italians who have returned to Italy to work at human technopole and the reason they're attracted to human technopole and what we can offer is essentially an, uh, not only an excellent scientific environment, which is represented by the, the very good senior uh, scientists that we have been able to attract to head our research centers, but also the um, incredible uh, and cutting edge technologies and infrastructure that we have set up and that we are able to offer them in order to perform their research. What we see now is uh, technological solution to experimental needs uh, is coming faster and faster. So scientists are constantly asking to integrate new equipment uh, into their labs. Therefore, it's very important that the, the, the furnishing of the lab can integrate easily these uh, um, rapid changes in the needs of, uh, of a research line. I think optimally HT would represent a place where people could develop together with people from HT very ambitious collaborative projects. Um, but it also should act as a model um, and perhaps there are aspects of the model which might be more widely adopted. I think the, the, the thing which has pleased me most is the quality of the people we've been able to attract and this ability to bring the top scientists into Italy is the thing that gives me the most satisfaction so far.